If you're trying to get pregnant, it can be helpful to know what happens after ovulation. Will the egg and sperm meet? Can the sperm really reach the egg? How long does it take? Keep watching to find out how the egg and sperm meet after ovulation. What happens next and what you can do to optimize your chances of getting pregnant. Each month, when you ovulate, your hormones do a little dance to release an egg from one of your ovaries. The egg then travels down the fallopian tube, where it can be met by sperm. If healthy sperm meet the egg at the right time, one lucky sperm can actually fertilize the egg. When the egg is released from the ovary, it moves into the upper part of the fallopian tube. It's here that fertilization usually occurs. Fertilization typically happens one to two days after ovulation, but only if sperm are present in the fallopian tubes at the right time. Once inside the fallopian tube, the sperm and egg are still a long way apart. Sperm are extremely small, but they have to travel about five to six inches to get to the egg. Even though this may seem like a long journey for a tiny sperm, it can actually happen within a few minutes. Once a sperm reaches the egg, it can actually penetrate the outer layer of the egg. After fertilization, the egg is then called a zygote. The zygote continues to develop and divide as it journeys to the uterus. It takes about three to four days for the developing embryo to reach the uterus. Once the embryo arrives in the uterus, it can implant in the uterine lining. And that's when the journey ends and the real adventure begins. Now let's take a closer look at the amazing journey of the sperm. When a man ejaculates, millions of sperm are released, but only a few hundred will ever make it to the egg. This is because the female reproductive tract is a long and winding road. Amy sperm don't have what it takes to complete the journey. Whether it's because they're not super healthy or they get lost along the way, lucky sperm will actually reach the fallopian tubes. But only one will fertilize the egg. That is because the egg has a protective layer around it that makes it really difficult for sperm to penetrate. But the sperm that managed to break through the outer layer of the egg will actually change as they approach the egg. They start to form a mound of sperm near the opening of the fallopian tube. This mound helps push the egg towards the opening so it can be fertilized. The fertilized egg then begins to divide as it travels down the fallopian tube towards the uterus. As the embryo develops, it gets bigger and bigger until it's about the size of a ball. By the time the embryo reaches the uterus, it's ready to implant in the uterine lining. Now let's talk about what you can do to improve your chances of getting pregnant. If you want to increase your chances of getting pregnant, it's important to understand the different phases of the menstrual cycle. Each phase brings your hormones to life to do their little dance. Your hormones control the timing of ovulation and the preparation of your body for pregnancy. In the first phase of your cycle, your hormones work together to release an egg from one of your ovaries. This process is called ovulation. After ovulation, the egg travels down the fallopian tube where it can be met by healthy sperm. If you want to increase your chances of getting pregnant, it's important to track your cycle and identify when you're most likely to ovulate. There are a few ways to do this. One option is to use an ovulation predictor kit. These kits can detect the surge in luteinizing hormone or LH that happens before ovulation. Another option is to track your basal body temperature. Your basal body temperature, or BBT, is your body's temperature at rest. It's important to take your BBT every morning before getting out of bed. You'll need a special thermometer designed for this purpose. Once you've identified when you're most likely to ovulate, you can start having intercourse. Having regular intercourse during your fertile window can help you identify when you're most likely to conceive. The next phase is the secretory phase. During this phase, the hormones estrogen and progesterone work together to prepare your body for pregnancy. If healthy sperm meet the egg at the right time, one lucky sperm can actually fertilize the egg. So it's important to continue having regular intercourse during this phase of your cycle as well. Finally, there's the phase when the embryo implants in the uterine lining. This is also called the implantation phase. If you're trying to get pregnant, it's important to take care of yourself during this phase as well. Eat a healthy diet, get plenty of exercise, and avoid alcohol and tobacco. Getting pregnant can be a roller coaster ride, but with a little knowledge and planning, you can increase your chances of getting pregnant. Remember, each month, your hormones do a little dance to release an egg. If healthy sperm meet the egg at the right time, one lucky sperm can actually fertilize the egg. To improve your chances of getting pregnant, track your cycle. Identify when you're most likely to ovulate and have regular intercourse during this time. Continue to take care of yourself during the secretory phase and the implantation phase as well. By following these tips, you can increase your chances of getting pregnant 
and start your journey towards parenthood.